What is the difference between a rat and a mouse? One of the great questions of all time. Unfortunately, asking what's the difference between a rat and a mouse is kind of like asking what's the difference between a soda and a Coke. It's not really the best question to be asking because you're asking about two names for things that are really not the official name for something and define a broad range of different items that can mean different things to different people. Uh, there are a lot of animals all around the world that are called uh, different kinds of rats and different kinds of mice, kangaroo rats, dormice, field mice, etc. Um, and they're really only uh, very loosely organized biologically under the order of rodentia. Now, the better question to ask with soda or a Coke is, what's the difference between root beer and Sprite? Or Dr. Pepper and Pepsi? Those are questions that you can actually link to specific things. So what we're gonna do today in attempt to answer this question is figure out what do most people mean when they say a rat and what do most people mean when they say a mouse and from there we'll be able to go ahead and answer this now when i think the vast majority of people say a rat what they really mean is the brown rat or the norway rat or as it's called in latin ratus norvegicus not to be confused with the 1977 punk album now when most people are talking about a mouse, they're generally referring to a house mouse or mus musculus in Latin. Although it's a little complicated because uh, the mice that are in almost all mousetrap genius videos are actually not mus musculus house mice. They are deer mice, which look identical to the house mouse, except that their tails are two-toned or they have two colors. So that makes things a little confusing for our purposes, but just to keep things simple and keep this video reasonably short, we're gonna stick to a comparison between the brown rat or Norway rat and the house mouse, mus musculus. Now, just looking at their bodies, anatomical differences. The rat, and again, we're saying the Norway rat or the brown rat, is much bigger than the house mouse, like sometimes five to 10 times bigger. The uh, adult mouse rarely gets past 30 or 40 grams, where an adult rat can easily get up to three, four, maybe even 500 grams in some cases. Uh, the rat is also a lot longer, looking just at body, not at the tail. Uh, an adult mouse is a house mouse, rarely gets past uh, three or four inches in body length where an adult rat can easily get up to almost a foot long. Uh, looking closer, there are some subtler differences. For instance, uh, the mouse has much larger ears relative to the size of its body, whereas the rat has smaller ears. The mouse, on the other hand, has a longer tail as opposed to the length of its body. A mouse's tail is usually about the same length as its body, whereas the rat's tail is typically somewhat shorter than the length of its body. And looking even finer still, rats tend to have a smooth, hairless tail, whereas mice tend to have fur all the way out to the ends of their tail, just like the deer mouse in our videos, which I think is the cutest mouse, by the way, and I'm biased because they're the kind of mouse that they have in the part of the world where I live. But again, enough about deer mice. Let's get back to the main focus here, which is house mice. Mice have a somewhat narrower, more eco-friendly diet than rats do. Rats just like humans are omnivores. They tend to eat just about anything that we would, which is really a broad range of things from meat to nuts to seeds to you name it. Mice, on the other hand, tend to be herbivores. That is vegetarians. They only eat uh, seeds and grains and perhaps a little bit of grass or something like that every now and then. So we have differences in how they look, differences in what they eat, but you kind of have to see them to tell those two differences. What if, as is commonly the case, you suspect that you have 
a rat or a mouse in your house, but you're not sure which one it is, and therefore you're not sure how to properly go about getting it out of your house. Well, the answer to that is look at their feces, their droppings, their manure, their poop, whatever you want to call it. Look at those things. The rats are much, much larger, whereas the mice are very small, just about the size of a grain of rice. So that may be way more information than you wanted about the difference between mice and rats. There are an extensive list of them, but those I feel like are the biggest, most useful ones in identifying them. In case you're interested in further reading or just wonder if I'm telling you complete lies here, I will put my list of sources, both scholarly and not so scholarly, down in the video description. Please take a look at them. They're very helpful to me. They should be helpful to you if you want to find out more. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this video was helpful to you in at least uh, answering the question or at least figuring out what the right question to ask is in regard to the question. And uh, sometimes that's the best you can do in life, find out the best question to ask. So thank you again for watching. Hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and also click the little bell icon next to the subscribe button if you actually want to get notifications about new videos that we post. And until next time, hope you have a great day.